Talk to me. What do you think is um, a way for someone to be the change right now? To be the change, uh, I think it's definitely picking a side and, 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 and taking a stand and speaking out about it. I think it's good to I think it's great to attend a protest. I think it's great to hold up a sign. I think it's great to demonstrate. I think it's great to do all of those things. And I just think in your daily life, it's good to go around and hold people accountable to, to when you know some fuck shit is happening. Right. Have having con- having group conversations about it. You know, and most importantly, voting. I think I think this year more than ever. Um, it's it's always been important. This year more than ever. It's always been important. Always been important, but this year more than ever. This year is no different um, than any other year. It's not. Any, it's not any different. But we this year more than ever we can't continue to give it up the way we've been giving it up. We really have to get out there and let our voices be heard. We have to vote, and we had. And I know we had the conversation a few episodes ago. We have to vote, and we have to hold people accountable because there are so many times where we go in there and we cast our vote. We just go Democrat down the line, blue down the line, old white man, old white man, old white man, old right. white woman, old white man, old white man. Right. And then we just go home about our day. We go home, crack a beer, kiss the wife, go to sleep, wake up like nothing happened. That shit cannot continue. It can't. can be. It can't be. If that person that you voted for isn't doing exactly what they said that they were going to do, make a phone call. If that person that you voted for consistently doesn't do what they're going to say they're going to do vote them out in in 2 years keep every single idea. if if every single keep person your finger, keep your finger on the pulse absolutely every single politician or senator or representative in Minneapolis every single one of them needs to not be in office after this year is over every single one of them mayor governor senator attorney district wow. attorney all of them needs to be fucking gone gone because there's there's no reason why this officer was allowed to go home that day. There's no reason why these other three officers are are still f- are st- still have a degree of freedom. Yeah. There's no reason for that. And if you don't like what's happening in your neighborhoods, like I was telling, um, my I was in a group chat with my boys talking about this, and, and shit got heated, and I was like, all these like these these gray haired uh, politicians that run around que- Queens kissing babies. They're in Rosa. They're in Rochdale. They're in Valley Stream. They're kissing babies, and they've been in the same office for the past 35 years. But shit hasn't gotten better. Like no improvement get, in our neighborhoods. Like get get rid of them. Yeah, we need we need to. It starts with our communities, man. We have to really keep our finger on the pulse. Know what's going on within our communities. Know who's representing us. Know what they stand for. And like you said, are they doing what they said they're going to do? Are they are they are they holding their word? Are they not? No. Okay. Next election. Sorry, you don't get another chance. They're supposed to work for us. Right. That's the way it's supposed to be. And anybody that we runs around make, here, we have to make the system work for us. We can't expect the system to work for us. We have to make the system work. And if you don't want, and if you don't vote, I don't give a fuck what you think about anything, right? About nothing. Don't complain to me about shit when you hit a pothole and your car gets fucked up. Don't ask me to come and tow you. Don't ask me for a ride anywhere when your car's fucked up. Because guess what? You voted for the motherfucker that. I'm sorry, you didn't vote at all. You didn't vote. <laughs> so what do you like? What do you, why like why do you even get a chance to exist? Why do you get to benefit from anything? Right, if you're not doing your right as a citizen. Why do you get to drive on the roads that taxpayers pay for if you don't vote? You shouldn't even get to drive on the roads. You shouldn't. What are their youths? They should have a dirt they should have a dirt road for people who don't vote. Yes, non voter dirt non- dirt road. Uh they drive on snake road. They drive on the snake road. Not even on the snake road, on the grass, in the marsh, oh, that marsh in the bad. swamp. That marsh is bad. You don't get you don't get concrete non-voter. You didn't vote for this concrete nigga. Yeah, this you, is not your concrete. Yeah, you have no say. You, you have, have no, no say. say. You have no say. Nothing. No, you gotta get your votes in, man. 